yo, yo, what is up guys? My name is Rhino and we're back for another video. So here we have the Hedron and ISO skins who have just arrived in the item shop or yesterday. I'm recording this late, but we now got the combos video for them. So let's get started. So I want to start with the back wings. So yes, there are two back wings. We'll just do the same combos for them because they have the same color scheme. But yeah, I really like this back wing, man. I like it a lot. I love the, uh, the way the floating cubes look around it. That streak looks very nice. I love the way it's changing colors. Like unlike on the, uh, uh, the Gleam Team skins from last week, where they had like kind of the colors all around their bodies that were just continually changing like in an up-down pattern, kind of like rope lights. These, this like stays the same color for a bit and then fades in, fades out towards different colors. And I think I, I think I like that a little bit more when it comes to the back wings at least. I like, I prefer the Gleam Team's pickaxe a bit more. I was using a loser for it looks really good. But I was already using the Gleam Team's back wing on Loser Fruit uh, earlier before these skins came out, so I decided why not put this one on? Uh, it's gonna look great on the Hollow skins. Yes. Uh, yeah, it looks. Yeah, it looks really good. Wolverine, the uh, Hollow foil, looks great. So yeah, like I love the way the colors fade in, fade out on them. Looks great on this. Um, like yes, when it comes to some of these combos, like depending on like. When it goes to the purple, obviously go well these skins. So you could pretty much put this on anything, like just to match the color, even though it's not gonna stay the same color the whole time, or probably best to just put on multi-colored skins. So yeah, I do like this back one quite a bit. I love how it fades in, fades out with the colors. Whereas as you can see with these skins, they don't really fade in, fade out. They different colors flow down their whole body. Whereas with these skins, the same colors on them, but they sort of fade in, fade out. And like on the back wings, and I really like that feature personally more, at least when it comes to the back blings. Like, I definitely like the Gleam Team's pickaxe a bit more, but nah, this is a really cool back bling. I love the floating cubes around it, the geometry in it. I, it really intrigues me, this back bling, and I do see myself using it quite a bit. Uh, Dynamo, love it or hate it. You love to see her, hate to see her, it looks good. Buy a little fish stick. King Crab. Uh, yeah, so I would say that when it comes to the skins, I don't know which skins I like more. I may like these ones just slightly more than the Gleam Team skins, though I do like the Gleam Team skins for how reactive they are, but it, it seems like the reactive feature on these skins is either lame or broken. It's only a person on Hedron, so I think like iTalk Fortnite said that these skins are incomplete and they should have been released later on, and in all honesty, I kind of agree with them because, um, yeah, they should have it where either both skins are reactive and not just one of them, or they need to have it where, or they just, if they're not meant to be reactive, just take off the reactive feature from the mail. So the Exploding Axes, this is one. I think I like the other one a little bit more because while I do like the shape of this one, I do like the orbits around it. It reminds me of Galaxy Scouts. So I've definitely equipped it on Galaxy Scouts. Wait, no, I didn't. Uh, let's see on Galaxy Scouts. Yeah, it looks great in that color, especially. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, but I like the other one because I love the... Uh, I like how the other one is more geometric. I like how it's more uh, anti-gravitational, <laughs> if you will. Kind of reminds me of a Rubik's Cube that's been split. Whereas this one, it's it's like some type of axes like I would see in a logo. But yeah, this is some. these are some very interesting items. Definitely more interesting than the Gleam Team since they're like very similar to the uh, disco skins, the uh, party skins. They're supposed to be more similar to that, whereas these ones are not so much that. So... Yeah, I think I like these skins ever so slightly more than the other ones, but I think if they were reactive, then if they were reactive the same way, then I'd 100% like these ones more, because the reactive feature of those skins are really cool. But I definitely like these back blings more, even though the other back blings, they had the smiley face on it, and I really like the, uh, I do like the, the reactive features on them, I love how the expressions change. These ones, they're a bit more of a unique shape, and they have more of a, uh, feel to them as a back bling, even though they're not as reactive, but this one has the nice animation around it, while the other one has that very nice streak. So, I think I just prefer, I don't really care if my back blings are reactive or not, the re re reactive feature is just a nice touch to have, but it's still got all the colours on them, like red, green, yellow, purple, it's got all those colours, and yeah, I do like these back blings a lot because of that. So, yeah, expect me to use these. And we have payback. All right, so now with the skin. So just gonna be the same with the skins. So yeah, quite a few backlings. I mean, 
maybe as a black blinks might look a little bit better on the Gleam Team skins in terms of what you want to find. Because again, sort of like them, like the ones that aren't animated might look a little dull on them since these are animated. They got the stars over them, which looks really nice, and they change color. And of course, since they do change color, since they don't have all the colors all over them at once, it is going to be where if you pick a certain color match, like blue will go well with it now, and then it's got to be purple. So only like a certain period, certain periods will the color go with them. So maybe you're just best off either using like one of the holographic backlings or a multicolored backling or their own backlings or no backling, I would say. Uh, they have probably skins that look fine without a backling, if I must be honest. Uh, Hollow back looks good. Hit me looks great. The heart grid, uh, I would have thought it looked a little better because these are sort of these skins have some kind of grid design on them. They remind me a bit of Tron. See, these are the Gleam Team backlings. They are have the color over them and they're reactive. Whereas these backlings, the edge case, I just like how compact it is and how unique the shape is. Whereas that, like in terms of the design of it, it's not very unique. It's just a face, a circle or a star with a face on it. The reactive feature of what makes it better. Um, but with these ones, I don't really care. They're not reactive. They have a nice animation to them, nice shape. And I like the... Like I said, maybe I'll, I don't know if I like the uh, fade in, fade out color colors on the skins a little bit more or a little bit less than the uh, sort of the flowing pattern that the, the Gleam Team skins have. But I will say that I definitely like the uh, fade in, fade out of the colors on the back blings more so than the uh, colors on the back blings of the Gleam Team skins, if that makes sense. So I like that feature more when it comes to these type of back blings. But I'm not sure if I like it more when it comes to the skin. And this pickaxe does have a really nice streak. But I think the uh, other pickaxe looks a little better in terms of like if you want to use a multicolored pickaxe to go with a rainbow skin like Loser Fruit. Um, so we'll change the ISO skin. So another thing to note is yes, the glider is broken. So I'm not using it at the moment until they fix it. One of the wings is out of place, which is kind of a shame because it looks like a really cool glider. It has a great sound, very unique shape. And it's uh, got a very nice streak. So until they fix that, I don't know. So yeah, same combos for the female. I like the female skin a little more because I like how the uh, lines look a bit better on her, on her slimmer body type. Even though I'm not one who complains about how bulky her skin is and how big it is, I don't care about the size. I'm just purely basing it off like how I think the design looks. And I think on this case, like even though I think I like the, it's weird because I, they're kind of similar to the Glean Team skins in a way, but quite different at the same time. These are more, geometric skins while the gleam team is more uh the colors are a bit more random so i think the, the design of them looks a little better on the male's body so i like the male version of those skins a bit more whereas when it comes to these ones i like the females a bit more sorry about that noise uh yeah so we're just going to quickly go through this and then we're going to call it a day because yeah i did get this video out late i just had other things to do i don't know if we're getting anything new, I doubt it, because these are the last leaked items, so unless there was something encrypted, I don't doubt we'll be getting anything new, so I'm just going to continue with the ranking videos while we're on a three-day lockdown, I guess. Starcrest ship looks great, though. Neon backboard, I would say. The dark one, yeah, that looks good. All right, so that's pretty much going to wrap up the combo, so if you guys enjoyed, let me know the like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of these skins. Do you love them? Do you hate them? What do you think of these combos? Until then, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Take care. Bye-bye.